I think about entertaining myself, and that really uh, means different things to different people. And what it means to me is that um, that I, I, f I try to find ways to write beautifully and economically, and still be accurate about what I'm thinking. So, and what I'm trying to say, and part of comedy is being able to be accurate and to be sharp. And so to be funny, you really do have to be um, on your toes. So I think about, and I do think about my audience, especially when I'm writing plays for young audiences. For instance, um, The Magical Bird uh, is a play about a king, three sons, and uh, they're in search of this cure, which is a bird that turns people into stone by pooping on them. <laughs> so it's very, it's a, it's a, it's a based on a classic folktale from the Philippines. And what I had to do, part of the original story, um, was something I had to wrestle with. So I'm thinking of my audience, and part of the story in the original is that when the young boys go in search of the bird, one of the solutions to staying awake, because one of the problems of the bird is that its song all makes you fall asleep. So its poop turns you into stone, but its song makes you fall asleep. So one of the characters in the original story, um, in order to stay awake, has decided to cut himself with a knife and pour lemon juice on it. So that's the original story, kind of very grim, Hans Christian Andersen. Uh, I didn't think that American audiences really, uh, really enjoy that very much. So thinking about parents, thinking about children. So what I did was I looked for a solution that might be more charming and more delightful for American audiences, because I'm trying to translate this. So what I did was I put a rubber band on the kid, and he just put the rubber band and he flung it. And he, oh, you know. so, that's, so that's the solution. So still the same effect, which is that he caused himself a small, small little pain in order to keep himself awake. 